Hey y'all, it's Israel and welcome to Israel's World. And today I'm gonna be doing another reaction video. And this reaction video is gonna be on long, long bone anatomy, long bone anatomy drawn and defined. So, yeah. So, let's get into the reaction. In a previous video, I discussed the fact that all of our bones can be classified into just five different categories based on their shape. Long bones, short bones, flat bones, irregular bones, and sesamoid bones. In this video, I'll discuss the anatomy of a typical long bone, like for example, the humerus. Let's first look at the external anatomy of a long bone. The elongated central part of a long bone is called the diaphysis. At each end of the diaphysis is an enlarged area of bone known as the epiphysis. The diaphysis is connected to the epiphysis by a thin segment of bone known as the metaphysis. The surfaces of the epiphyses, where bones form a joint, are covered with a thin layer of articular cartilage. Articular cartilage reduces friction and absorbs shock when bones move in a joint. The rest of the external surface of a long bone is covered with periosteum, a tough connective tissue sheath. The periosteum is divided into two layers, an outer fibrous layer of dense irregular connective tissue that protects bone, and an inner osteogenic layer that contains bone forming cells. If we cut the humerus in half lengthwise, we can examine the internal anatomy of a long bone. The wall of the diaphysis is made of dense or compact bone. Compact bone is incredibly strong and protects and supports bone. Lining the inside of the compact bone is a thin membrane called the endosteum. It contains bone forming cells as well as some connective tissue. The hollow cylindrical space in the middle of the diaphysis is called the medullary cavity. In an adult, this cavity is filled with yellow bone marrow, which is mostly made of fat cells. The epiphyses are made of spongy bone, which is lightweight and made of a lattice work of irregular sheets of bone called trabeculae. Filling the spaces between these trabeculae is red bone marrow. Red bone marrow is mostly composed of developing red and white blood cells and platelets. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to my YouTube channel and stay tuned for more Human Biology Explained videos. So y'all, yeah, that was my reaction to that was my reaction to long bone anatomy drawn and defined. Long bone anatomy drawn and defined. So you can check out the original video on human biology explained. So, the channel is Human Biology Explained. Where this video came from, you could go to the channel and uh, check out the original video. So, uh, yeah, I hope y'all enjoyed it. So, y'all, that was the reaction part of this video. And now we're headed to the tour part. The, uh... 
the road trip tour part of the video. So, enjoy the road trip again. <laughs> <laughs> Look at my knees. Get my knee. It's raining outside. <laughs> oh, it's dark. <laughs> Mm-hmm. <laughs> 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 So y'all, this completes the vlog today, the tour part, and I uh, hope y'all enjoyed this video. It's raining outside, as you can see, and um, yeah, that's it for today's video. Hope y'all enjoyed the reaction part of it, the reaction part, and the tour part, and yeah, see y'all in the next video. Israel's out. Bye, y'all.